On this channel, I've been fortunate to check out all different types of tech, and every once in a while, there's something that's truly life-changing. The Freestyle Libre 3 is one of the many devices that Abbott showcased at CES 2023 this year, and since my dad already uses a Freestyle Libre 2, I was really excited to check this out. Hey guys, it's Crystal, and I just got back from CES 2023 not too long ago. If you missed any of my coverage so far, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Today though, I wanna give a big thank you to Abbott for sponsoring my trip out there because they have a lot of incredible stuff going on. Most of you probably know Abbott from their at-home COVID tests. Being able to self-test not only made things easier, but also ensured that we're being as safe as we possibly can be. Beyond that though, they do so much more. Abbott has been a leader in health technology for many, many years now. And with that, it was really cool to see everything that they're up to. Abbott has a whole line of remote monitoring devices. And the first one that I really got to check out was the Infinity DBS. It uses deep brain stimulation technology to treat movement disorders such as Parkinson's. And the way it works, after the doctor implants a neurostimulator with a battery and leads, the device will then send electrical pulses to a directional lead, and then that will then send those stimulation pulses to a certain area of the brain that controls movement. This is also the world's first and only DBS system to operate on iOS through Bluetooth, so it gives the patient as well as doctors and clinicians direct personalized control even remotely. Abbott is continuously advancing the Infinity DBS system with a primary focus on personalized and patient-centric innovations, and all of this really improves the quality of life with people with Parkinson's disease and essential tremor. I also got to check out some other life-changing remote monitoring devices like the Cardio Mems which tracks the blood pressures in the pulmonary artery and wirelessly transmits from virtually anywhere to a patient's clinical team. Another device I got an up close look at was the Avair Leadless Pacemaker, which is the world's only leadless pacemaker specifically designed to be retrieved when the device needs to be replaced or if a patient's therapy changes. When it comes to biowearables, I did mention the Freestyle Libre 3. The Freestyle Libre portfolio is the most widely used continuous glucose monitoring system in the US and the world. Now I'm pretty familiar with the Freestyle Libre 2, which my dad has been using for a bit now. It's the previous version of the 3, and it's pretty similar in the way that you use it. You wear it on your arm, you replace it every 14 days. With the 3 though, is a sensor and app experience. It's also the most accurate today, and it's smaller. It's exactly the size of two stacked pennies. What's good about it is that it allows you to monitor consistently throughout the day. So basically, this is the sensor. It allows me to understand what I should be eating and what I do not. That way you could build a routine or you could stay away from what you should be eating. Mm -hmm. Also the liberty of having the app paired to it. I feel like it's nice for you too, so you don't have to like write things down or say, oh, at this point in the day I was this. You always have something to look back to. If you want to show your doctor or anything, it's, it's all there in one place. Do you feel it on your arm? You don't even, you kind of forget that it's there most of the time? Once you apply, you don't you don't feel anything. The Lancet, which is a prick finger mm -hmm. method, as you said, uh, that you feel it, you know, 10, 20 times more. I got a chance to really look inside the sensor of the three. It really is very, so small that you don't feel anything. What surprised me when I saw it was that it's flexible. Like it's, it's not a straight. Yeah. Yeah, it's been yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a hair. Yeah, exactly. It's also something that lets you be more mindful because you know that you're wearing it. You know that you're going to see the readings. It's not something where like, oh, you know, I'll check my glucose with the other method and I know that it'll be fine because I stayed away, but you're consistently knowing that it's going to continuously read. So right. it, it makes you just more aware and also make better like lifestyle choices in your case with your diet and all of that. In my case, I see if I exercise early on in the morning, I see a peak on my blood sugar. What that means is that your blood, uh, your liver is providing more glucose into your mainstream so you can do with the exercise. But I notice if you continue doing the exercise, you see a decrease over a period of time. Again, I've only been using it for three weeks, but consistently over a long period of time, I will assume that uh, your blood sugar is able to stabilize faster 
and it's able to react quicker. Now, I was really impressed by the tech behind the Freestyle Libre 3 and how that impacts everyday lives of people living with diabetes. As technology continues to advance, we're seemingly becoming more and more health conscious. So any insight related to that is always really helpful. And it's really cool to see Abbott at the forefront of that. So it's a pretty exciting way to kick off the year and I can't wait to see what the future holds for Abbott. If you want to learn more about the devices I mentioned, I'll leave some links down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hasta luego.